going way too far. No, nothing gonna help you when it falls apart. The prophets and the praises told you, but you covered your ears and now.
Hello everyone. Today Luke, lead developer and brains behind Heron Studio Projects and SimK will talk about Flylat. So let's begin with an introduction pitch. Prepare for takeoff into a world of unparalleled excitement and innovation as I introduce to you the groundbreaking application that will revolutionize the way you experience virtual company systems. Fasten your seatbelts and hold on tight as I present to you the one and only Flylat. Why settle for ordinary when you can embark on an extraordinary journey with Flylat? I understand that the sky is filled with countless virtual company systems, but none of them truly capture the essence of what it means to fly. That's why I took a detour back to the drawing board, determined to create an idea so unique and original that it would soar high above the rest. Imagine a system where flying is not just a means of transportation, but an exhilarating adventure shared with friends. At Flylat, I've reimagined the virtual company experience to be more than just collecting points or ticking off destinations. I believe in creating a world where aviation enthusiasts like you can enjoy every moment, relishing the joy of flight and reaping rewards along the way. Gone are the days of monotonous point collecting routines. With Flylat, I've injected a thrilling dose of excitement into the skies. Prepare to embark on epic challenges, embark on daring missions, and unlock exclusive rewards like never before. Whether you're a seasoned aviator or a first-time flyer, our app will captivate your imagination and ignite your passion for flying on your favorite flight simulator. So, welcome aboard the flight of a lifetime. Strap in, join forces with your friends, and get ready to explore the endless horizons of Flylat. Prepare for an application showcase like no other, where innovation meets exhilaration, and your dreams of running your own virtual company become a breathtaking reality. Get ready to soar with Flylat, because the sky is no longer the limit. Hello, hello. Uh, welcome everyone. Uh, Jesus, 34 of you. Thank you all for coming along. I'll be very quick at saying hello. Obviously, I know Sim K is going to be here. Francisco, hello. Uh, Simav Geek, welcome, welcome. Yoni, uh, welcome. Krona, Renti. Uh, there's quite a few of you. Uh, Wukash Kotua, Jedi. Uh, Serbian Gaming Worlds. Uh, da, 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 da. Who else? Who else? The Gotlandis Farmer, welcome. Ron Erickson, welcome, welcome. Ah, Sim K doing the countdown. Uh, I'd expected that from him. Uh, Virtua, hello, welcome. And Ross Rec Room, welcome as well. Am I, oh, Michael with popcorn. What flavour popcorn now? That's the thing. And Airborne, welcome, welcome. Let me know if you guys can hear me fine. Uh, surely, hopefully, you know, before we start, I kind of want to get that out of the way. I do apologise, there's no camera, I'm pretty sure you're not here to see me, you're here to see what I'm creating, well what me and Sim K have created, uh, so Christopher Bello, welcome, oh Arcadian Airlines, one of our beta testers is here, great stuff, welcome, welcome, right, so you can hear my disgusting voice, I'm now going to, well, I was going to read that myself, but I thought, do you know what, let me use the new text to speech technology that we are going to be using, hello Aaron, welcome. Yeah, so I'll use the text-to-speech text technology that's going to be used in Flylat. Uh, let me know if uh, you like the sound of that one. Obviously, there's going to be different languages, different accents for English as well, depending what corner of the world you're from. Right, so uh, I can close that off now. Um, so I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to unmute a few people in a second. Well, one person, to be honest with you. Uh, what I'm going to do is simply, uh, first I would like to say before we begin, a big shout out to our supporters, MSF uh, add-ons, uh, or Microsoft add-ons, uh, very good, um, uh, they've done a very good article about Flylat, uh, hopefully the new version is going to be something a lot more different, a lot more exciting for you guys to see, so do let me know if uh, if you like it. Hello Pavel, welcome. Um, Right, Simav Geek, obviously I've been flying with him for many, many uh, months, maybe two, a year or so. On Flight Sim, we've met in person, very nice guy, and I thought, you know, he's been supporting my project since day one. He's done a video on uh, his channel about me, so I thought, why not show him some love. British Av Geek, uh, another streamer, I know it's confusing Simav Geek and British Av Geek, um, another British streamer, UK streamer. 
he does fantastic job of promoting Luke Hertel from day one. He's been using Luke Hertel for such a long time uh, and I'm grateful for it. Serbian Gaming World also, another streamer that I fly with. I really want to say thank you. Um, I appreciate the support that you give me with Luke Hertel and hopefully you give the same support for, um, same support obviously for Fly Lat. Raphael, hello from Brazil. Well, hello to you. Hello from London. Right, so uh, SimK uh, hopefully can hear me and I would like to welcome SimK aboard. This is going to be his first time joining us on a live stream. You might have, uh, well, I'll let him talk. Hello. Yeah, well, I was just about to uh, pop in to say I can't hear you, but uh, no, I can't. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, no, thank you for finally inviting me. Um, I say finally, thank you for actually inviting me. Um, yeah, for everyone in the chat, I'm Sim K. Uh, a few of you might already know me. Uh, I do tend to uh, be active in the Discord servers, but for those that don't know me, I'm one of the developers on FlyLat, and I've been aboard for the last six months or so, would you say, Luke? Is it fair to say, ish, this year, roughly. Um, and the majority of my work has generally been around all the, the new FlyLat stuff, uh, most of what the next update is going to be. But, um, yeah, I, I don't want to bore, bore everyone too much with the details because I think, think we're going to do a really good job of uh, showing off what we've been up to over yeah. the last six months or so. Yeah, I agree. It's been, it's been a busy week. A busy week, busy few months. Um, well, I mean, we have been busy this week, um, just trying to iron out the last of the bugs, but... Yeah, busy, uh, you know, busy with, few months. With the four hours of me sleeping <laughs> every weekend. <laughs> right, so without further ado, might as well get this show going. So what we've been up to so far, uh, let me explain to newcomers that have joined us. Uh, Benjamin, thank you. Welcome, welcome from France. Welcome, welcome. Just across the little channel to us. How are you? Um, Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of uh, talk you through what Flylat is without giving that enough information, well, without spoiling the surprise what we got for you guys. So firstly, we'll start off with um, pretty much self-explanatory virtual airline system. This uh, virtual airline system, you'll be able to run, sorry, let me change it a bit, virtual company system. Um, you'll be able to run your, let's say, cargo and passengers around the world. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't really want to spoil anything. So, uh, previously, some beta testers uh, have already been using the app. Uh, I know the uh, the farmer has been using it, uh, as well as uh, Christopher has been using it. And you know, we've been listening to so much feedback. You know, there's been days where we're stressing out because something wasn't working. Um, <laughs> the funny thing is, for me, it would work. I know it's a typical uh, typical programmer thing. Well, it works my computer. But there are times where me and uh, SimK keep sending data, oh, sorry, the program back and forward and we just always getting lost in it. Um, so yeah, you know, thank you so much to all the de uh, to developers, the beta testers that have been testing this, the ones that have been literally hammering the software. So I do, do appreciate it so much. Um, so before the stream, you guys obviously seen on our Discord, maybe our previous YouTube uh, stream, what I've done. Um, so... Uh, well, let me just continue with the show. Right, let's welcome the new UI. We are going to go through images, by the way, at the moment. Uh, we're just going to go through things we're going to talk about, and then we're going to do a live demo of the app itself. So bear it in mind, you're going to be looking at a few pictures first. Well, pictures with titles, really, and some fan fancy uh, colours. So, um, yeah, the new UI has been... Um, we've, we've been literally digging through the UI non-stop. Uh, adjusting it, tweaking it. I know SimK had two or three days of non-stop anger trying to get something to work. Um, yeah. Don't need to talk about. Oh, mate. Honestly, when you guys get your hands on it, there will be few windows that are not finished yet. Uh, you will still see some, as we might call it from now on, legacy UI. Uh, so that over time will be updated to new kind of new UI. You will see some tweaks and adjustments to it once I show you a live demo of it. So, yeah, the new UI. I can't wait to show you guys with the animations, with the colours, with that kind of nice little feel to it. 
So firstly, in Flylat, uh, as a company owner, so now I'm going to talk on the company owner side, then I'm going to explain the employee side, you'll be able to create your own events and missions. Uh, I did touch on this a little bit on our Discord server. Uh, so, um, for example, uh, my virtual airline, Heron Airways, I could then create an event to do routes around, let's say, Africa, for example. So you'd be flying to uh, different sort of areas around Africa, I'll kind of make my own airports. Uh, missions as well. Missions will be touched up a little further down this this uh, this stream. It mainly will be focusing on cargo, um, but with missions as well. So missions will be generated by the server that will be working with uh, things like um, with the passenger economy and cargo economy. Yes, I already mentioned a little bit of cargo already. Uh, I need to watch what I say before I get there. <laughs> I don't really want to ruin that. Uh, oh my god, my headphones are dying. Seriously, <laughs> plug them into charge. Um, you had one job. I had, one, I, had, job. I had one job before this stream, and clearly <laughs> they, they didn't charge. I don't know. Hopefully, it's not broken. Right, so uh, let me just plug him in quickly. One second, sorry. I mean, I'll be able to talk, but SimK won't be able to hear me. So, um, when it comes to missions, for example, we have something called like a demand system. What this demand system will do is it will generate requests for things like uh, hold on oh hold on uh, yeah so uh, the way it will work is I'm hoping it's charging yeah it is yeah cool sorry uh, the way it's gonna work is for example let's say certain amount of cargo or factory requires cargo somewhere it will automatically generate a mission uh, missions will pay out a massive massive bonus Normally, let's just say the mission gets created today, which is Saturday. You might have seven days to do it. Each day increases. However, let's say if you don't take the job today, you can take it within three, uh, three days. Oh, hello. All from Melbourne. Hello. Welcome. Uh, hold on. So, a job will appear on there. And every day, a percentage of it will increase. However, if you need to transfer a thousand units, sorry, a million units, that, them units are not going to go down so you know you're going to have to kind of work harder as it gets closer to the day if you don't deliver it on time you will get fines and the fines are what you could have earned cheers ambulance um so uh for example let's say if you get a payout of a million you know that's the fine you will get kind of something like that so I don't want to talk too much about it just now. I'm going to flick through to the next part in a second. Just before I forget, missions can be created for your own company or uh, globally. So for example, let's say if I need to move some cargo around, I, I don't have enough, I don't, know, I don't know, let's say I can't carry loads of, I can't do loads of flights. I can set this mission out for other company owners to jump in and literally do the missions for us. Uh, with these missions, for example, you're going to have to pay, obviously, the other airlines. Um, so you know right next part custom announcements you must know these from fly lad sorry from luke air tool with custom announcements uh <laughs> they wouldn't be british yeah i know um with custom announcements you will be able to request announcements for your airline doesn't matter what name it is a lot as long as obviously no swear wasn't nothing dodgy um or you'll be able to upload your own announcements so anyone that flies for your company will be able to play them bear in mind obviously they will be fit they will be checked just in case you upload something that shouldn't be uploaded uh, so custom announcements are there there'll be text-to-speech uh, ones the one that are you that I use on audio plus on Luke Air Tool. so you'll be able to do things like as you're landing um, you say ladies and gentlemen welcome to London uh, the weather outside so and so uh, and stuff like that if you're flying during the day let's say in the morning good morning ladies and gentlemen welcome on board of whatever airline uh, today's flight to so and so uh, if you're doing it in the afternoon it be good afternoon ladies and gentlemen if you're in the evening good evening and then the ambient sound is going to be different depending on the time in the sim it's not your real time that is now it will be the one in a sim so custom announcements are there so let's now go to custom livery and fleet images so you'll be able to uh, upload your own custom livery now there is a little um, issue with this with PMDG doing for example you know uh, PTP formats I think it's PTP yeah PTP formats 
we won't have the ability to install it automatically for someone. Um, for example, you know, I want to install my own uh, livery, let's say for fly by wire, you know, A320. I'll be able to do that because it will automatically download it for you. It will update all deliveries constantly for you. So if you get a new version, obviously as long as the sim's not running, it will update it. The issue is obviously where it comes to uh, ones that need to use things like PMDG Operation Center, it's going to be something different. So uh, we will find a way around it. Uh, I've kind of thought about this to kind of instead of doing it so it downloads directly from my servers, you can actually add a link if you um, upload it somewhere online. You be able, people will be able to download it, but they'll have to manually install it. Install it, sorry. Fleet images. Now, fleet images. It's a little bit different. I'll show you how this is going to work as well. So you know, you might have seen the screenshots of uh, current version of uh, Look Airtool. Sorry, Flylat. Why do I keep saying Look Airtool? Flylat. Uh, you be able to actually replace them. So what that means is you just simply right click on the image because obviously you've got the default ones. You don't want to see the default ones, I presume. You don't want to see Ryanair when you're flying your own custom airline. So what you can do is take a screenshot in FlightSim, you right click on the image in FlyLat and you can actually upload that. So now let's say if you fly for my airline, when you click on that aircraft, that aircraft model and manufacturer, it will show up the image you've uploaded. It gives it that little uh, little touch of um, you know simulating a an actual company. So, in my opinion, I think it's a good idea. Um, I don't I haven't seen anyone that's done it before, so uh, that's another thing. Now, custom seat plans. I know specifically that Gotlandis Farmer is going to be happy about this. He loves his own seat plans. So. Uh, this is something that's going to come at later date. Bear in mind, I'm not saying all these will be out day one. Uh, I will kind of touch on this uh, further down the line within a week or so. Uh, but custom seat plans, this is something that I really wanted to do for each aircraft to have default seat plans. So on, on our server, uh, for example, 737-800, we have its own default seat plan. So when you buy an aircraft, you can customize it. You can customize if you want first class, economy class, business class, and so on. Um, and then obviously that seat plan will load up. So let's say, for example, um, Zero, you buy uh, an aircraft, you do your own layout, and let's say I'm about to fly your aircraft for you, I will have that specific seat plan. And I know my microphone on my, um, on my headset's died. So what I'm going to do, I'm not sure why they're not charging, and that's a, that's a worrying situation, but you guys can hear me. So that's a touch. It's just Sim SimK won't be able to hear me while I'm charging. Um, yeah, uh, God, uh, Godland is farmer, hundred percent. I know for a fact people actually use. Uh, I can see how many people actually downloaded it. Um, yeah, hold on. Sorry, let me just plug it in. I need to plug my headset in to see if it's actually charging. But my headset is charging, that's good news. So, at the moment, unfortunately, SimK, there's nothing, not, not much SimK needs to say right now, but once he says it, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. Um, we're going to have to work together there, SimK. So, I know he can hear me because he can hear the stream. Uh, so, that's good. Uh, yeah, technical diff difficulties. Look, whoever knows me by now, you know for a fact that. Uh, I always have difficulties. Right, so Simca should be able to hear me now. So that's a good sign. Right. So the next bit for me is, um, yeah, so once the seat plans are done, we're going to go over to routes. Routes, actually the screenshot you can see right there, those are live routes on um, on Flylat. So everyone that's created, all the beta testers, um, all the beta testers, your roots are there in the image so uh, well admire the map it's actually quite a nice looking map so with our roots um, I had a really good think about this in fact I I've done a lot of uh, planning and I've decided to create several different types of roots uh, the roots we'll be talking about um, are uh, so what I do for this I might actually add something quickly I might add a text so 
Uh, what I'm going to do, just give me two seconds. Um, right, so I'm going to do something like this for now because at the moment, so there you go. Scheduled and created routes. Um, we've scheduled and created routes. What this means is any routes that you've created for a company, so let's say I create a route, you will be able to fly that route in your company so obviously if people are working for me they'll be able to fly on my routes <clears throat> scheduled and uh, this is where we touch up a little bit about the love it uh, this is uh, uh, this is where we touch up about scheduling yes we are doing scheduling you'll be able to schedule your flights they will earn you more money they'll earn you more rep bear in mind if you don't do that specific flight uh, you can um, well you can kind of lose a little bit uh, of money for that because you get obviously fined for an aircraft not taking off. Uh, ah, great, Simk. Thanks for counting the uh, the sirens. Um, right, so that's like that. That's what we're gonna do. Um, so at the moment we've got a screenshot. Um, I might show that during the stream. It bear in mind it's extremely uh, early stage. Uh, so expect a lot of it not to be like that in real in a real one. Uh, so the next one will be next type of route will be free flight. Free flight will allow users to, um, for example, let's say I want to fly a anywhere. Let's say I don't know sim case flying to Spain from London. So I'll go. Do you know what? I might come along with you. I won't create a route, but I can choose an option I'm flying from uh, London to Madrid, and I can do that flight. I will earn the rep, and I will earn the money. Bear in mind that these um, these will earn you less money, less rep, because in theory, you're renting an aircraft. Uh, so that kind of stuff we've been exploring not to limit people just for their own company. So if they want to fly with their friends or with streamers, they can do so. And one more, and I've called this freelancer, which I presume the beta users already know. Uh, so um, uh, don't worry, uh, uh, don't worry, farmer. You be able, I'll be able to. I'll show you the live map as well. I'll be able to click on different routes and show you what's what. So freelancer, what that means is if you start, let's say if you first join Flylat. You want to fly it, you want to use it. You're not part of an airline. However, you can actually still fly for people's airlines as long as the developers, sorry, developers, the creators or the owners of the route allow others to fly that. You earn money for yourself and you earn money for the airline. Uh, so what that what that means is, let's say you're not, you know, you're not um, part of any airline. Good thing is, you'll be able to give that money to that specific airline once you join it. So, you know, if you've done, let's say, 10 flights, you've earned yourself 200,000, you join an airline, you'll be like, look, do you know what? I've earned these by being a freelancer. I can give you that cash and so on. Uh, so that's what freelancers will be able to do. So, and there's, a, there's going to be a fourth one, uh, but there's not really uh, much talk about the fourth route just yet, um, which is cargo route, which I'm going to get to that in a minute. Now, economy. I'm going to talk about uh, yeah. just wait after the economy. I've got a surprise for you guys. Just before I let you know, the little um, um, little surprise that no one knows about will be announced shortly. So, economy system. Again, like I did say at the beginning of the stream, you will have passenger and cargo economy. So we talk about car, uh, with passengers first because passengers is less complicated to explain. So, uh, nope, not Luke Air Tool Free. This is a stream for Fly Lads. So Luke Air Tool Free is currently not in development. Uh, Luke Air Tool will be in development at some point. Um, well, I don't want to say anything. Anyway, um, economy system for passengers. We're going to take. Let, let me get a board out so I'll write this down so I know exactly what I'm talking about before I lose track. Don't know if you guys noticed, but I do lose track a lot in a chat. Uh, right, so we're gonna put, we're gonna do, um, 
London Heathrow. Then I'm going to choose um, Madrid. Then I'm going to choose uh, JFK. The reason why I just quickly just I've been looking at something and yeah, it makes sense to do that here. So talking about London Heathrow, let's just say Heathrow's got 500 passengers, Madrid's got 100, JFK's got a thousand, right? So your aircraft will be able to carry 200 people, and let's say I'm flying from uh, Heathrow to Madrid. So 200 people, we we'll literally deduct the 200 people, and they go over to Madrid. So now we've got 300 people in Madrid. Uh, yeah, uh, Darren, it's going to be recorded. It's, I hope so. It's going to be recorded. If not, there will be a. They're not, I'm pretty sure it is, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do a shrunk shrunk down version of this stream um, at some point as well. Um, ideally, I would suggest you to stay for another five minutes at least because there's something coming along. So we have now moved 200 passengers from Heathrow to Madrid. That makes Madrid having 300. Then someone can fly from Madrid to JFK, pick up all 300 passengers, and move them to JFK. Now there's 1,300 passengers. Basically, you will be moving passengers around the world. Um, you'll be able to be moving people around the world. Uh, Zero, I'm going to answer that uh, at the end with the q and I'm pretty sure there is an option for leaving questions. If not, I'll write this down quickly. And I know a few of you has, have already asked in the Q&A above. Right. So, um, now you move the passengers over. Madrid's got no passengers, which means now... Routes so in the area, uh, there will be a demand for people to go to Madrid because there's no passengers, it's zero. So then, obviously, then it will increase things like rep, how much you can charge, how much you will make per ticket. Um, these passengers will be moving around the world at the moment. Now, something that you guys don't know, all the beta testers in Flylat have already been doing that, they've been moving passengers around. And all you air toolers out there, you guys have been doing the economy as well by moving passengers, yes. Airtool will still affect Flylat's economy. Airtool will adjust passengers and cargo around the world. So that's kind of, you know, cross application um, data. So that's kind of, that explains the whole passenger economy, kind of, for now. That's going to be the basic version one, and there's a lot more coming in version two, where things like events around the world affect it. For example, you've got Diwali, uh, there'll be more demands to go there. For example, you've got Christmas, there'll be more demands to go there, and so on, so on. There you go, Sim K. That's the third one. Um, right, so that's the kind of passenger demand. Now, cargo. Mm -hmm. Cargo is going to be... Um, yeah, cargo, cargo is a whole new thing. Do you know what, guys? I'm about to announce a new feature. Uh... And I hope you guys will like it. So without further ado, I'm going to mute myself so you guys can hear this uh, announcement. So here you go, cross simulation. Uh, cr sorry, cross simulator. Uh, I'm very uh, proud of that. Um, we've managed to get it working. It's extremely early stages. It's at that point where it's just literally text, nothing else. So I don't really want to show you guys because obviously there's gonna be more and more surprises into it. Now I know we are all focusing on flying. I know this application is all about flying. However, I know a lot of you from screenshots that you guys post in my Discord channel use Farming Simulator, Euro Truck, and American Truck. So, the uh, Pavel, if anything, put the question in the. Well, I'll write it down anyway. Um, so, with this, 
You knew it. I know you knew it because you messaged me, but I didn't answer. <laughs> right. From the start, when Cross Simulator comes in, the track simulators will work. Um, uh, hold on. Was there supposed to be words with it? No. Nope. Just words. Uh, just words? Am I even talking? Yeah, I'm talking, yeah. So, let me explain to you how cargo will work with other simulators, not just flight simulator. So, let's just say... Uh, let's just say this okay so we are flying our aircraft with cargo loads and loads of cargo let's say we, we are moving plastic um, let's say we're flying to Frankfurt so we are moving it to Frankfurt uh, we land let's say I don't know uh, 10,000 units of uh, what I say plastic plastic cool someone else that uses Euro truck will be able to pick up uh, we'll be able to pick up that cargo and move it to a factory where bear in mind in a second I'll explain something uh, they will move the uh, items across and to a factory where that factory can produce something so uh, imagine this you got I'm gonna I'm gonna actually rephrase all this let's start again you land at Heathrow you deliver uh, metal metal chips right uh, metal sorry and uh, I know in near Heathrow there is a factory that does uh, computer chips so someone will be able to use Euro truck to move that over to that factory that factory will then produce computer chips over time that will then inject data that guys we need to move these chips now to a factory where it creates goods that require it require it sorry um, now with this um, you will be moving things around the world better you work together this could be even for people that don't use flight sim they just want to drive trucks around you can and uh, so that's the beauty about it you're not stuck with one sim i know uh i, I genuinely know that uh, gotlanders farmer is excited about this i knew you knew i knew you guessed it i don't think you guys knew that i put a hint and um, whoever's in my discord channel on airtool feel free to check out the last one it says one day left look at that specific image and you can see where it says live stream showcase ETS is slightly darker and where it says new features ATS is slightly darker so I have uh, yeah I kind of added uh, some little hints there in there uh, in the actual uh, announcements that we were making so yeah this is uh, this is a big one we still I tell you the problem that we've got at the moment with this I'm able to get the data from to and from Eurotruck or uh, ATS, the workers at SM. I'm just going to say Eurotruck, it's the big one there, and I'm focusing on it. So, this, uh, hold on. Um, so, we, we can at the moment get the data to and from, however, I can't inject cargo system in yet. That will come. Uh, it will happen not just yet because obviously I'm trying to work it out so cargo will come out before this cross simulator I did oops, sorry ideally I want to get this out as soon as possible as well because genuinely I'm gonna use it a lot Um, I'm uh, yeah I was excited to tell you guys that's why I thought Do you know what guys I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna tell you the next stream so cargo it's gonna be a very 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 huge feature that will, in my opinion, is going to be bigger than passenger simulating because it's got a lot more to it. More information on this soon. Um, when I'm going to release the next public beta, um, uh, what it's going to do is sort of we will eventually release something where you guys will be able to experience the new UI, but cargo won't be active yet. You'll be able to click about, have a look, or some demo of the UI. I thought it'd be quite nice to give that to you guys to have a look. If you guys like it, we're currently working. If you guys need something changing, um, let me know. You know, don't worry. Beta stuff is open soon to everyone. In fact, um, soon, very soon. Right. Fleet management. As you all know, you'll be able to manage your own aircraft. You'll be able to buy, sell, um, re-register, transfer, and so on. Uh, fleet management is in depth as well, so I'm gonna 
I don't want to make this stream run for too long because obviously we're nearly an hour in already. So this, in the stream, it's, uh, sorry, stream in the fleet management, uh, like I said, buy and sell in aircraft. You'll be able to change images of your aircraft. You'll be able to rent your aircraft out to other airlines. Uh, you'll be able to even, even if you're not flying, let's, I don't know, your PC, uh, I don't know, say graphics card's broken, you can't fly, but you still want your company to make money, you can rent your aircraft out for a fee. So you'll be earning some. So you choose a percentage how much you want, you want to earn from each flight that the person makes. Uh, so in fleet management, it's, again, there's going to be loads and loads of stuff in there. Uh, what we already got is no, you know, it's, it's nearly what's staying. Um, with obviously new UI overlook uh, in the very near future this summer. Hubs. So you guys know what hubs are, but I'm going to um, I'm going to explain what hubs will do. At the moment, you just create a hub, and it just it just it's just there, you know. Uh, to me, I like an idea of what I've done, of what I come up with. You know, me and Simk have been putting our brains together to do this. So I would like to say that now hubs will have ability to fix other people's aircrafts, make money. So for example, let's say farmer, you land at my at, at Gatwick where I'm based, you don't have a hub there, you'd be able to fix your aircraft at my place. Now, as a company owner, I have two choices. I can order these parts for you and obviously I'll make less money. Uh, Secondly, I can use my cargo fleet to get someone to bring parts for me. So I'll just buy the uh, parts for your aircraft uh, at extremely lower rate. Also, at hubs, you'll be able to store your aircraft. Now, there will be a limit uh, depending on the level of an aircraft. So if, sorry, level of a hub. So they go up from 1 to 10 at the moment. And that increases in a lot of stuff you can do. Uh, right. There's so much. Bear in mind, I actually don't have a script. Uh, I'm just talking through literally if you guys see what I'm doing is there's just Streamlabs in front of me and discord so don't worry this is still top from top of my head so in hubs as well you'll be able to um, store your cargo there will be a limit to how much cargo you can store and what type of cargo you'll be able to store so that gives you an incentive to upgrade your hubs uh, rent out your hubs uh, and stuff like that uh, also, if you are a CEO, you can. Um, uh, if you are a CEO, you can basically join forces with other companies. So, for example, you can go into partnership. The partnership will allow you to share hubs, aircrafts, routes, uh, and stuff like that. You'll be able to do a lot together. You'll be able to work together to move cargo across. So, for example, I accept a job. Uh, You'll be able to help me out and get in this. It'd be up to me how much I pay you or we come to an agreement slash contracts, emissions, so on. Ah, right, I need a drink. Give me a sec. Right, so, employees. What will employees do? Well, obviously, fly your flights for you. Um, there's not really much here, um, but... We will showcase a employee screen shortly and uh, there'll be a live demo after the next two more no sorry one more function I need to explain and then we'll be ready to do a a kind of like a live demo of the app itself uh, I'm literally preparing my desktop now as we speak uh, so with employees you'll be able to recruit people hire uh, hire you guys real players and hire AI at the moment, AI is a bit buggy uh, because we're trying to work out a really good system that kind of makes it simple to use. At the moment, it's extremely complicated. So, uh, let's talk about sort of what could happen if someone's flying for you and they've got different ranking systems. So, you know, remember I said to you at the beginning that you've got ranks from 0 to 10. Uh, you'll be able, is it 0 to 10 or 0 to 5? Sorry, 0 to 5. Um, you'll be able to set ranking for each pilot. So, for example, if your pilot is 0, at the moment it's just numbers. We will be doing word rankings. It's just we're using numbers for now. So, 0 is basically you'll be able to fly and use an aircraft where it's attached to 0. Rank 0. If, let's say, you are rank number 4, you'll be able to use any route or any aircraft with 4 rank or below. So that way you can kind of limit to who's flying on how or how people are flying in your airline. Um, another thing as well, you will be able to promote someone fully to run the co to co run the airline for you. So for example, one of my friends is going to be flying with me. 
I can simply upgrade him to a co-owner. He will have full access to everything apart from managing the company, finances, names, and so on. He'll be able to buy aircraft. Uh, he or she, sorry, they'll be able to buy aircraft, buy routes, create routes, hubs, and so on. They will have full. Um, it it will be a full on um, kind of you know unlock system really. One last thing, it'd be another feature which we did touch on a little bit in the Discord channel, but for the ones that don't know, we are introducing custom websites. So each airline will have their own website. I know some uh, some online systems that offer you a very basic and standard page uh, where it just gives you information, that's it. We, in fact, will be able to load up the website however you want. You can customize it however you want. If you are a developer, you can create your own websites. Um, and that will kind of open up a lot more to, um, you know, make it unique, make it your own. Uh, I can see Sim Cage just put down the link. Feel free to check that link out to have a look what custom websites actually do look like. Uh, so uh, if you open that link up, you should be able to see his uh, airline site. He customized it himself. He made it. So, you know, and then if you go further down where it says our oh, network on his website, you've got things like his routes. And that's using a live API, which, yes, it will be available to everyone. If you are, like I said, developer, if you want to create stuff uh, for your airline's website and stuff like that, you will be able to actually uh, create anything as long as it works with the API. Oh, right, that's a lot of stuff to go through today. Uh, I did say to you guys this is going to be a big one. Now, during the intro... You guys must have seen something called, uh, which I actually forgot to put in this uh, in a slideshow. Um, da, 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 da. It was Discord and Gilded integration. With Discord and Gilded integration, this will allow you to send notifications to your actual channel itself. So here it is. You should, there you go. You can see it now on my on my screen. So you can see Discord and Gilded integration. With this, it allows you to simply. I don't know. Let's say I'm taking off. Uh, it will come up, uh, Lucas taking off from uh, Brussels, he's flying to London, track him live on this map and uh, there'll be a link to the map and some information. You, as a company owner, will choose how much you want to show, you'll be able to, uh, honestly, yeah, you'll be able to choose how much you want to show on your Discord. Uh, right, so, that's out of the way. Uh, let's go back to the slideshow custom. Oh no, we actually are ready to show you the live demo. Uh, oh yeah, I did forget to add this as well. Uh, third party and API access. So like I said, if you're a developer, you got your own website, app, Discord, whatever. You know, if you can write webhooks, you have full access to the API. Um, yeah. So this is it. That was it. That was shown. Um, and breathe. I'm actually going to show you the map now. Um, while while we while we're on the subject of a map, so the maps work huh. right. So there is map number one. As you can see, you got all the routes displayed here. Uh, no, you don't. Yeah, so you can see these are all routes that were created in Flylat. And here are the routes, for example, uh, I've actually selected Stansted. At the moment, we've got one airline that goes to Stansted. I can now click on Dublin. And yeah, the link will load slow for now because it's not really optimized yet. Like I said, very, very early stages. Right, I need to sit down. I've been standing up all this time. So it's very early stages. So yeah, anyway, let's go back to this. So you can see I clicked on Dublin. It shows me, it shows me every single route out of Dublin that's currently in Flylat. you got... Uh, on the right, you've got things like uh, what airline it is. So I can actually, let's click on, who can we click on? Uh, Austrian Air. There you go. It shows you their entire uh, route page kind of thing. Uh, in the future, we're going to code it. So when you click on a, on, on the actual, um, <coughs> on the actual um, airport, you'll get information about the airport. Very similar to, let me just bring this up quickly very similar to this so you can see under utilities we've got cargo and airport and let's say we go to that so something like that will come up uh, public storage factory Th this will kind of be remade um, so you can kind of see it's like yeah it's still yeah I like this uh, this was created by Bendix 
He's another one of our developers that jumps in uh, and helps us out with the website. But yeah, you can kind of see that kind of stuff we're going to be planning to make when you click on a uh, route. Now you can click on any airport. This website is actually live as well. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to send the link in. Uh, I'm going to send the link to Sim K. If you can, if you can just post that in a chat. Uh, and then yeah so people can have a look uh, at this as well you can click on any airport that's got live thing you can click on oh there you go there's my airline um, yeah, you can see my routes you know kind of connected in um, so yeah so there's the link guys feel free to click on that uh, and then uh, yeah right I'm now going to check if my um, headsets charge up a little bit uh, I don't think I need it for that long to be honest with you uh, because we are going to be talking about it, and I, I, and I genuinely need SimK for this to talk us through as well. <sighs> Come on, please have enough charge. All right, it's got one bar, and it's not red. I hope. Yay! All right. <laughs> uh, so hopefully, let me just give me a sec. All right, SimK, can you hear me? Nope. Okay, so cl that's clearly yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> idiot. <laughs> All right. So let's start up Fly Lats with the new version. Oh boy! Do you know I'm trying to give you a break from talking as well. Do you know? Uh, do you know what? Perfectly timed. Boredom made me come up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <sighs> hey, there we go. Right. So here we go. Um, Splash screen. Yes. Uh, quite funny actually. A perfect timing. But yeah, it's true. Boredom actually made Luke Hurtle, and then kind of evolved into Fly Lat. Uh, <laughs> So, as you can see, this is a company owner view. Uh, I will show the employee view as well. We are still obviously tweaking it, uh, changing it. You know, we've got a lot of, we do, we do want to make it smaller because we might need that space, um, which I presume, Sim, you kind of agree with me. We kind of wanted to uh, give ourselves some space just in case we need to keep expanding and we don't want to make overpopulate one screen, do we? Yeah, no, exactly. I mean, uh, I think a few of the guys in the Discord have been asking, can we, can you resize? Can you do, um, you know, can they make it bigger, smaller? You know, how much bigger is it going to be? Is it going to fit on my screen? The answer to all of it is yes, if not in time, eventually. Now, yeah, to answer your question, Luke, we did need a little bit more real estate, especially to give us that more... Um, a cleaner UI kind of feel, mm -hmm. uh, minimalistic approach, which I know you're a massive fan of. I hate, I hate clutter. If you yeah. see, to be fair, if you see my desk, it's a completely different story. But <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, exactly. But in terms of will users be able to resize it on launch, the answer is no, because we just can't afford to fly that to resize at the minute. Um, it doesn't react too well, I'm afraid. But eventually you will be able to resize this and you'll be able to minimize it uh, not minimize it sorry you'll be able to make your window smaller and it will resize as if it's a website and it's just got a good amount of work to do before before we can let that uh, that feature loose cool uh so um I don't know if you guys just see me clicking on notifications and news board. Uh, I'll explain what these two actually are. Notifications, clearly you can see COS purchased a workshop hub at Dubai. Construction will be finished on uh, this specific date. So anything that you're doing in your company, you can kind of see uh, I've sent an aircraft to workshop. It's just literally notifications for everything that the company does. On the right, you've got news board. News board on the right could be for two different things could be me doing an announcement to everyone that needs to know I don't know new update out now so you know that kind of stuff um, welcome to fly Light, you know that kind of stuff and your own company owner can do it so the company owner can actually create news board for you I don't know for example I can post uh, guys we really need to move cargo from this and this airport can someone help me out uh, they will be maybe color coded or maybe something where it requires you to read it or whatever you know that kind of stuff I, I don't know how far we're gonna push this yet this news board actually is just a static one for now and I think it's actually grabbing the data from the server right yeah yeah, yeah. it's it's um you users themselves just can't 
create news boards at the minute. Only server admin can. Yeah. So yeah, I thought so. Right, company screen. So you can see, comparing it to the old one, uh, it's a lot more neater, uh, less clutter. Again, we're still kind of experimenting with this. This isn't the final form. Uh, you can kind of see the buttons at the bottom: loans, repayments, uh, changing call sign, and uploading your company logo is not yet functioning. Uh, but hopefully by I nearly told him when I want to push the beta I didn't tell him I nearly nearly said it um, by the time we send the beta to you hopefully these buttons will be able to work and uh, that was quite but, that, yeah. was, that was quite close I nearly told him I, I want to do it at the right. end when they'll be able to experience this now we've got two buttons at the top flight and cargo just ignoring for now um, they are just there to realistically just be there for now remember when I told you guys about the routes you got the flight and you got the cargo sorry about the flight uh, different routes you got uh, uh, things like uh, scheduled uh, freelance and free flight that's where you kind of will launch that soon in a moment you launch your flights from the actual uh, uh, route page which for now is still there now let's go over to hubs so these are my hubs now I absolutely love this Honestly, if you guys should see this on my stream, boom, flips around. Uh, you've got all the information about the uh, facilities that are available at this airport, uh, my specific hub, sorry. So I've got the administration building, dispatch building, recruitment center, and workshop. With these uh, specific functions, you'll be able to do a lot more by updating, uh, you know, for example, you will need recruitment center to recruit AI, dispatch center to obviously automatically dispatch them and administration to actually have AI pilots. So once you have all three, AI pilots will do what they need to do and fly on their own. Soon, uh, dispatch center will work with scheduling. So you'll be able to create schedules for your flights and stuff like that. Uh, you can see where fuel is, purchasing fuel facility, so purchase fuel facility, you'll be able to store fuel here. The price of it will appear here and so on. Cargo will show overall cargo, but mainly it'll be done under cargo system. Uh, obviously, you can see selling and upgrading the hub. Right, and another thing I'm going to show you Dubai because remember when I showed you it's actually building something? So you can see construction. I am actually constructing workshop, and you can see how long it would take. Little, little animation there, kind of like that. Little touch. Roots, we'll go over to roots at the moment, is very similar to the one we've got now. In fact, I'm pretty sure it is near enough the same. Uh, with a few tweaks obviously to the uh, new update um, you can see obviously how much the route works and yes profit now works woohoo um, distance might be questionable sometimes because distance sometimes is calculated wrong but that's something that we'll be able to do in time uh, we just want to aim towards getting the right functions out there uh, getting you guys up and flying enjoying the app uh, and seriously just populating the airports with people and yeah can't wait for that uh, also creating the routes, so it kind of changed a little bit as you can see it's got that nice little uh, UI I can just call it one two three one oh, I was meant to press four but I pressed one so uh, let's do the airport one flying from and let's do there you go Gdansk so you can see to Poland um, there's the route itself this will be changed to dark theme at some point like I said at the moment we are working to aim for functionality uh, and then eye candy and other fu oh, uh, press on one and other functions things like you know assigning crews uh, refreshing the list and stuff like that and help are you two robbing fly like bank <laughs> he's, he's oh, noticed how much hey. money I've got <laughs> <laughs> well actually saying that not, no. realistically I know for a fact I did myself hundred hundred million when I was starting the beta, and then remember when I ran that script to add, was it 250 million to people's accounts? Uh, that yeah, kind of boost, varied, yeah. yeah. I am actually gonna reset my company before I start this. Uh, there will be a, we've actually got a demo, uh, funny enough, what's it called, Tim? What, the, the test <laughs> The airline. test airline, yeah. All right, um, funny enough, uh, Cinder, the airline that we use to test now is called Robin Banks Air. Um, <laughs> Yeah, no, Sorin hasn't been stealing anything, I promise you. Don't worry about that. I've not been testing using that airline. Are you sure? Didn't I, re using... didn't I reset all your aircrafts? Shush. Don't say <laughs> that. 
Absolutely not. No, guys, just obviously just for testing purposes, we had to do it like that. Uh, right, yeah, but like I said, my my own airline is going to be reset, and I'm going to have a test airline, which actually will not be included in things like leaderboards, uh, partnerships, and stuff like that. Uh, there will be things like ranking system for the airlines. Yeah, I don't want to get too much into it. There's no point in explaining it. Fleet. Now, this had a little makeover, a little bit of uh, a touch, you know, to kind of make it look uh, similar to what we did before, but we haven't finished it yet. Now let's have a look at one of my aircrafts, this one here. For example, remember when I said to you guys be able to change your picture? Uh, clearly, I'm not Ryanair, it's there, it's just, it's just a default picture. So I'll be able to right click on it, upload image, I'll be able to search for the image and then upload it. At the moment, the function's not there, but it'll be ready for you guys once it's at and about. Again, you'll be able to sell your aircraft to the dealer good thing is you'll be able to sell it to other people adjust the profit how much you actually want to sell it for so you know if you want to sell it to a friend of yours or you literally just want to be uh, uh, ruthless and make the aircraft extremely expensive you can do that in a moment it don't make no sense where you sell it however in a very very near distant future uh, there will be a limited amount of aircraft and uh, factory can produce so there'll be like a waiting list uh, this is where people end up buying stuff um so you can kind of um so for example let's 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 put this into perspective obviously um an aircraft can't get produced in three days realistically so there'll be a stock of aircraft available at each manufacturer so for example 20 uh 738s will be available once all 20 are gone you're gonna have to wait till the factory constructs more uh but if you sell it on a second-hand market, you can actually buy it from other airlines. So once you put it up for sale, you will not get that money until uh, that aircraft has been purchased. Uh, at the moment, I don't think you can actually cancel that sale, which that's something I need to add. Selling to bank, obviously you sell it directly to the bank and you get that money straight away. Scrapping the aircraft, obviously I don't want to press anything here. But when your aircraft is uh, worthless, like it's beyond repair, you literally can scrap it, but you are actually going to get rep for it. You know, eco-friendly workshop. Ignore where it's the piece missing here. Um, <laughs> you'll be able to actually fix the aircraft like you well, like you already are in the beta. Transfer the aircraft. This is going to get a makeover at the moment. You don't actually uh, need half of this stuff, uh, but I'm going to explain what's what. So let's just say where is this aircraft? EGKK. So let's say I want to move it to Warsaw. Calculate. So. AI transfer. Here you go. At the moment, it will take me. It will take this aircraft 109 minutes to be transferred over. It will cost 2,686 credits. Again, bear that in mind with the money. I need to talk about that in a sec as well. Company job board. You'll be able to post this. Let's say you'll be able to post it on the job board, so people in your airline can, uh, can be aware that you want to move it, or you can actually post it publicly, so you can say, I don't know, "If you move this aircraft for me, I'll give you this amount of money." Public job board. That's exactly what I just said, and. Uh, don't want to request it so that's kind of that buying an aircraft that hasn't changed at all uh, oh perfectly clicked on a380 oh um, you can simply buy it it's exactly the same nothing has changed there so there's no point of showing that or wasting time employees yep fake employee that's that we're viewing that one in a minute because it is a fake employee and uh, that's the one that's going to be joining me so you can see these are the current uh, pilots at the moment. Airtime is not counted. It is. We're trying to work out some really cool feature for that. Uh, I can click on that, and you can see uh, you can see obviously the information at the moment. Nothing. He's a trainee. So let's go back and accept this person. Play accepted. Woohoo! So when I go back here, there you go. Is uh, reset. I think that's the bug we've got. Yeah, I have to restart for this bug to kind of uh, refresh. So, uh, this employee will be able to refresh. In fact, let me restart the app quickly so we can see it. Give it a sec to start back up. Keeping your bug, uh, keep your bugs to yourself. Okay. There's a nice little message in every single one. And employees, he should be active. Here it is. He's very active. Now, uh, what I'm going to do? I'm going to log out and log in as that person. Hopefully this is going to work. This is the first time I'm testing this on my end. Uh, I hope I remember his password, actually. Alright, uh, what was it? 
fake employee underscore zero one. Sign in. Oh yes, it is. Here you go. So you can kind of see the different type of UI. This UI hasn't been shown to anyone yet. So this, you guys are kind of well, you are new to seeing this. So let's start from the top. Obviously, that's the company that he works for, uh, or she works for. Reputation for the company. Uh, down here, obviously, you got your username. This is your uh, rank. Flight hours, how many hours you've done, how many miles you've flown, how many flights you've done, uh, what your income was, and your outgoings, how much you actually cost the company, and how much profit you actually made for that specific person, and ha uh, sorry, airline, and how much reputation you've done. Um, Sim, is there any chance you can quickly log in and send me one where it shows you with the flights that the, uh, you've done? Yep, just give me one second. I think, can you send me this screenshot already? Nah. Uh, no, nothing that you'll be able to show. Anything that I've sent you on that page will have been an old bug. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, so he will just send me the uh, the image and I'll be able to show you what it looks like. So again, you got that and you got roots and you'll be able to fly for that person. So yeah, at the moment, that's that for the employees. Very simple, not really much. However, if you are going to be promoted to being a company owner, you have, the, uh, you have a lot more than this. You actually will be able to see the CEO screen. So, uh, right, what else do we need to do? Right, I need to load up the chat uh, because I need to answer your questions. A few of you have been sending in questions to me. Oh, there you go, heard myself. Right, so, questions. We, oh, Jesus, okay. There was a lot of you just sending questions. Uh, right. Uh, when will Flylap be available? I knew that, was, that one's coming. This was by... Ah, oh, this thing's bugged. Well, not not literally. Right, so this one was by I don't know I don't know why it's not showing me. Uh, let me see if I can do pop up chat. Wow, you guys have been busy with the messages. Oh, here we go. Uh, uh, uh. Right, we are now going to look at. Francisco has asked me the, mo uh, the most expected when will Flylap be available? Closed beta is available today uh, for everyone. Well, for everyone that's using it right now. Uh, however, it will be available for everyone. Mm, Sim, should we say it to them? No, I'd err on the side of caution of we can probably give off when the next update is going to be available. Oh yeah, yeah. No, that's what I meant. That's what I meant. Oh, that yeah. Right. So the next update, we are aiming to release it by next week. Uh, so normally I like pushing out updates on a weekend. That's when I'm off. That's when I can monitor it the most. Uh, so that will be available next week. Uh, and and ideally, if we can do what we well, if we can fix a lot of bugs, it might be available to everyone to test. Right? Is that what we meant? Oh no, we need to stress test it. Uh, yes, I was going to say, yeah. there's a stress test that we need to do first, yep. but the list, to be fair, without disclosing too much, mm -hmm. the list of issues that we're aware of at the moment is very slim. Obviously, the one that we've just seen yeah. uh, demonstrated very nicely on stream, and then <laughs> I think we have two others that we found this morning, yeah. but outside of them, oh, they're, not, oh. they're not major issues at the minute, so... I'll be honest, I'm going on holiday at the end of July, last weekend of July, and I kind of want to push it out publicly before I go. Don't know the specific date. I don't want to give you guys a specific date yet. Um, however, I would like to do it before I go on holiday. So it's not 100% guarantee, but that's what I'm aiming for. So hopefully that answered your question. Next one. How are you doing, Luke? I'm doing perfectly fine. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Oh, Serb Serbian's got quite a good question. Right, select question. I like this new function in uh, in this. Okay, 
So, Serbian has asked, okay, I have a question about AI crew. If crew are flying, for example, Heathrow to JFK, is it possible for us to reserve a plane at JFK once AI crew makes a touchdown at JFK? Yes, you'll be able to set the amount of, at a moment, so remember when I said in the stream that uh, you have an option for, um, you, have one, you, you have an option to kind of do scheduling in the future, that will kind of do that for you. In a moment, you can set how many times AI is going to be flying that route, and one means one way, two obviously will go there and back. So if you do set it to, let's say, three times, so they will fly London, JFK, London, that aircraft will be sta standing still at uh, London. It's just for, you know, for now, it's not something that is going to be there permanently, it's just something that we, you know, as we are releasing better functions and stuff like that. So yes, you'll be able to reserve the aircraft and stuff, like that if you that's how you want to do it um because at the moment with the ai crew when you do set them up to fly somewhere you can actually set how many times you want them to do the specific crew so if you just want them to fly to jfk for you to pick up you just literally put number one in how many times they'll fly so hopefully that answered your question now zero has asked me select the question zero has asked me will f will the fly lat be free now uh, I did kind of say yes and no um, for two reasons. This is going to cost a lot for the server. Um, I'm going to show this on the stream so you can kind of see the new website that I'm working on. Um, so, obviously, it's not finished yet, the website. So, there'll be three different versions of FlyLat. Let's start off with Pilot. Uh, for example, with the pilot, what the way it works is, as a pilot, you'll be able to join an airline free of charge. You, as a pilot, will not have to pay a penny. Um, maybe in the future, then I might have to put a banner for an ad, but it won't be just like an ad where uh, you you've got on mobile phones. I absolutely hate ads, and I will not be attacking you with that. It'll be with actual information that you guys want. For example. PMDG can announce a new 777 release date. It will literally will not interfere. It will be just a small button or a banner, that kind of stuff. That will cover enough cover the cost of service if we do need extra funding. So there's no ads planned anytime soon, and it's not going to be intrusive. So don't shoot a messenger that I said this. This is a very sort of last minute result. Uh, and again, it won't be like you've got a mobile apps or websites which just covers up the app. It, it, none of that. I'm not going to have any of that. So, yes, as you can see here, uh, you can become a freelancer. So, remember, like I said, you can fly for other airlines. Um, fly airline routes once you join. Uh, access unique career mode. Uh, increase your rank. Compete in events. Complete missions. Help an airline grow. Now, if we look to the right, you've got CEO edition. Uh, they're $3.99 per month. you got $34.99 first month. And then... Uh, after that, it'd be nine ninety nine. Prices are not set. I still have to kind of, yeah. yeah I, I have to be. I have to make this clear. These are just on a website while I'm doing it. Um, so the difference between the yearly one and a monthly one. Monthly one, obviously, you pay it each month. Only the company owner needs to pay. Now, if there's a group of friends uh, that want to start their own airline, there's no harm in you guys, I don't know, doing the donations for your own airline, you'll be able to kind of add all your stuff together and so on, um, I'm, it's very hard to explain this concept, but let's say if me and my friends are going to fly it, and we're paying £10 a year, I could just say to them, guys, can you give me, I don't know, five or each, uh, right, Lemon, I'm going to answer that question in a minute, um, so, the difference is CEO first year you pay thirty five pounds for now, uh, and then after that it would be nine ninety nine a year. Which to be fair, nine ninety nine a year is extremely cheap compared to all the other systems. I've done research. I spent my own money to see what these virtual airline systems do, uh, and to be honest, it's nothing special. Everyone does what they do. Um, uh, right, uh, for example. And uh, let's have a look. Let me just work something out. If you are going to look at it monthly, if you are paying nine ninety nine a year, you're literally paying eighty three cents or eighty three pence 
uh, per month. That's I don't know. That's I don't know one sheet of toilet paper on a roll or something like that. <laughs> um, difference between CEO edition uh, monthly and yearly. Yearly one, you get your own web space, livery hosting, uh, custom announcements and stuff like that. If you pay monthly, you get custom announcements after three or four months, if I'm not mistaken. But every other function is available there. Once your subscription runs out and you do not renew it, your airline will not be able to function. So even your pilots won't be able to fly. You can sort out a donation between you and your friends. I know Serbian has asked me this already uh, previously uh, regarding how it will work. All this information will be on our website, which uh, at the moment is not up yet. So uh, you can't really, well, it is up, but it's not fully functioning as it should. So hopefully that answers your questions uh, regarding the pay. It is free and it's not. So, uh, select question. What's the difference between Flylat and Airtel? Good question. Flylat obviously is what we're talking about today. Airtel is and it will be a audio application and passenger simulation app. Exactly what it is now. Uh, there will be a few things removed like the cargo simulation because that's not needed anymore. Uh, because there's, you know, we, we can't maintain that. Uh, because it's gonna, you know, Flylat is gonna be rewriting the debate, uh, la, 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 the database. Yeah, farmer, it is, uh, you know. Yeah, Michael. Um, no, not for now. What I mean for now is the price that I've been looking at. Not for now. I will not raise it. You know, I'm not gonna say it's gonna be nine ninety nine and start and then charge you thirty five ninety nine a year. My plan is the reason why I chose thirty-five pound for the first year is so the so the service paid off for many years to come. Uh, the reason why I've done that is I want this to run for a lot longer than I originally planned. Uh, my original plan was to run it for at least five years. If we get enough funding to pay off for the server for more than five to ten years, it will be like that. Don't forget, loads of free apps die um, because obviously they ran out of funding. Like I don't I don't want to say the applications name but that happened before with FSX I think back in the day uh, right so very good question this question comes from Christopher do you know if the cross simulation will be multiplayer capable ie my friends and I drive few engines on ATC right Christopher I did explore this uh, and the functions won't actually interfere with the game itself i know that you can do convoys on it as long as they are running uh... right lemon give me a second i need to go through the questions that have been asked um yeah i'm going i'm going in order with them um right so let me go back to the question yeah so you can run it in convoy as long as you guys are both running uh, fly lat i know ideally fly lat might, might need to change the name uh, at some point, but at the moment, I like the sound of it. Um, so yeah, uh, it won't affect. I mean, if if the cargo is there, they'll be able to move it around. Honestly, this is something I will be exploring soon, and well, soonish. And beta users will be available to access this feature earlier than everybody else. And go to right, select this question. Serbian has asked, does Flylat cooperate with Simbreeze so we will not have to make a plan by ourselves? Yes. Um, I think at the beginning of the stream I did actually put, I think on the slideshow, I don't think he was in the slideshow. Uh, but yes, Simbreeze integration is in works. And that should hopefully be in there very soon. Uh, again, a lot of testing needs to go in this. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yep, here it is, Simbrief integration. So that will be there. Um, so that's fine. How about my rank in air to will sync with Flylat? Very good question. Right, so uh, this member a few days ago, or maybe like two weeks ago, I've run a script that overpowered the server. That script was actually correcting, um, uh, it was collecting everyone's points, everyone's flights, merging it into, so it's counting how many flights you've done working at how many hours you've flown and yeah it, it was a very long process but yes it does count to your entire rank bear in mind the rank is actually been the rank is applied by the company owner so he decides when to promote you um 
So, yeah, that, that's something that is controlled by the company owner themselves. Maybe in the future, maybe we could do something where the company owner can set, I don't know, if you reach 10,000 rep, you get this amount. Uh, you, you get this rank so they can create their own ranking system for example for those that play Call of Duty you know get enough uh, points you obviously get a new rank so maybe something like that uh, is something that we will definitely explore uh, and over time Flylat will evolve next question is one more question what if someone had a hub already for example in Heathrow does the other company can also buy yes they can so at the moment uh, Right, so the way the way it was originally planned, if someone already owns, um, if someone already owns a plot of land there, you'd be able to do it with no issue. It does not um, interfere with anything. Uh, all it will do, it will simply be if you want to select something. Um, if you want, to, for example, our land there, I don't have any hubs. I see. Okay, there's three different hubs there. Oh, which one's selling fuel? We can see which one's actually selling fuel cheaper and buy the fuel from them. So those are their options. So you'll be able to kind of create your own. Uh, um, you'll be able to create your own kind of business out of your hubs as well. Uh, hopefully that answers your question. Will AI be able to fly scheduled flights and assist you in cargo missions? Good question. Uh, cargo at the moment, I haven't explored that far up cargo. But let me find something. I was—I promised you guys I'm going to show you something, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I just need to scroll through these images that I've got stored. So bear with me two, well, a few minutes. Uh, duh, 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 duh. I remember I said there it go. Right. This is very early stages, and this is just a concept. Scheduling. Hopefully, you don't mind me showing this, Sim. No, go for it. I was going to hint at uh, earlier. Yeah, so. do you want to talk us through it quickly? Yep, just give it a second to wait for it to load on stream. Oh. Ah, lovely. Just in time. Right, so, scheduling. Now, something that, uh, this actually kind of relates back to your question, Serbian, actually, about can you reserve a aircraft if it's in JFK, or if you know it's inbound to JFK and you want to do the return flight, or if it's heading back to a different hub, you know, that type of thing. Um, when scheduling is introduced in the near future, possibly, uh, as like Luke says, it's still in its earliest form of development, and we're still trying to work out some of the early onset issues that it has. But the idea being is that you'll be able to schedule your airframes, so your aircraft, onto several different routes, as you can see by the image on stream, and. You've also got a visual represent, rep, representation of you out there. What? No, I'm not. I can't speak. <laughs> too hot. It is absolutely too hot. Um, you've got a visual representation of your mon your Monday to Sunday schedule, like most airlines operate, and you have got your full 24 hour clock or graph, as it is. Uh, which stems from midnight at the top all the way down to 2300 or 20 yeah 2300 down at the bottom and it works in hour blocks so typically the way that it work you schedule your aircraft onto say you've got a triple seven you do in across the pond so Heathrow to JFK that's what six seven hour flight so it's going to block out for se for probably up to seven hours it'll round it up to the next hour so if you six hours 20 minutes it's going to round it to seven hours just as a whole type thing it's just a limitation of the schedule but you you'll understand when we start pushing the system out um and then based on how long that flight's been out there's a certain amount of break time which is also incorporated into our ai pilots there's so much break that that aircraft has to have because if obviously if the AI crew takes over, which I'll brush on that in a sec, if AI, if the AI crew take that flight, they would have had to have had that break. Now, obviously, you will be able to book out these flights. So a flight in your schedule, if you can see that it's up and coming, you can actually pop up and say, I'm going to take this flight out and there's a whole mechanism uh, stuff that I won't say too much on right now 
that involves like how much profit, how much rep, etc. Again, things we still need to work out. But you can basically say, I'm going to commit to this flight, very similar to how you do in VATSIM when you've got a pre file. Um, and then you'll fly that flight. If you don't claim that flight, a certain time before the departure time, the AI crew will take over. And that's it. The AI crew are doing that flight now. Obviously, obviously that, at that point, it will be yeah, delayed. Cool. If you, if you said to be a user flight, then remember that we spoke about this yeah. kind of thing, yeah. So you go down as delayed flight, but the flight will still be done. However, if you don't have any AI in that place, your flight has been cancelled. If it's late more than two hours, I think it is, it will be set to cancelled and yeah, it's not going to go down very well. <laughs> yeah, no. The, uh, the repercussions of these side of things are quite extensive, if I remember rightly, from our initial discussions. But... You know, the, the essential concept is instead of, you know, the AI pilots just flying back and forth, back and forth, you're going to have a schedule in place now. And also, it also helps your routes as well, because you'll be, you'll be able to see what days, what route is being flown, etc. And obviously, you'll be able to drill down into a load of these things and see what aircraft's going to fly it, what aircraft has flown it, who flew, who, sorry, who flew it. it you know, there's going to be a lot of information. Mm -hmm. to be had but yeah the scheduler is um i'll use the term proof of concept uh the concept has been proven <laughs> now we're just looking at how we can prove it and get it to work with fly lat and how that'll all integrate so yeah there you have it there's my moment of <laughs> my moment of shine because i've i've been uh, holding on to this feature very dearly it's been it's been a good fun uh, few months trying to develop this feature. Don't worry, now we can talk about it freely on Discord. Oh, no. Right, there were a few uh, messages quickly in the chat. Uh, right, I know, Mohammed, you, uh, you asked about um, what's the difference in fly lights. Same as quite a few people, actually. So just to, for those that don't know, fly light and air two are completely different. They work together via databases, but nothing else. Um, Michael, sure can, uh, drop a message in our Discord channel uh, and I'll get that sorted out for you today. Uh, at the moment, it, well, I'll, I'll add you to the beta, but you will get the release uh, when we release it to the beta users next week. Uh, so, yes, to answer you guys' question that I keep asking about Airtool and Flylat, they are completely different applications. Flylat uh, focuses on virtual airline with all the functions that Airtool already has announcements, passenger simulation, and so on. It's basically like air to one steroids with virtual company. Flylat, it will get a, uh, uh, Flylat will, um, Flylat will basically get, sorry, air tool will get a whole new overhaul. I don't want to talk about it because that's another lovely surprise for you guys down the line. We are remaking the entire app because the one you've got now and using now uh, it's okay, it works, that's why we're not focusing too much on the actual design itself, uh, on, on air tool at all, because we've currently got a working version, it's not the greatest, but it works, right, so let's, let's, let's just look at it that way. Before we go as well, I want to show you something else that we haven't shown at all yet, uh, which I did say I was going to show you a map, so I know I've got a test version of me, so you can actually search by username, by flight number, so let's just search by username, I flown this flight yesterday, uh, but here we go. As you can see, the map took inspiration. Let me just get rid of the fly like logo on that side. There you go, so you guys can see it fully. At the moment, this this is very early stages. I think this is about two days old, three days old. So it's quite very well. It's very fresh. At the top here, you get an image of that specific aircraft. Once we've got that sorted out, we've took an inspiration from things like Volanta and Flight Radar. Uh, the only thing I like in Volanta, well, the thing I like about the UI in Volanta is the acrylic. I love it. I don't know why. It's a very weird thing to like, but I like it. Um, from the top, as you can see, you've got option to share your flight. So obviously, you'll be able to send that flight to your friends, uh, people in your Discord channels, in Gilded, Facebook, Instagram, wherever you want to share stuff, you can share it. That will be a function to share. Hey, guys, follow me on this flight, blah, 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 blah. Yep. Obviously information about your current flight, where you flew from, where you're going to, that's the distance, how much you've got left, clearly I've landed. Uh, I have no idea what happened there. I think when I was flying I was actually very interested in a uh, cluster of buildings here. Now that's that, uh, uh, what else, what else can we do, what else was it? 
Uh, okay, no, not at the moment. Cool. Uh, there's something I wanted to see if it works, but at the moment I think it's been disabled. So you can see when you're taking off. You can even see how I taxied from the stand. You can see I actually it's actually quite detailed. Uh, it comes out and stuff like that. So that's there. Um, this is going to be something that will lead into the next future plans for Flylat. And I think Serbian did ask this, which I am going to bring up now quickly. I know there was a few more questions. I'll, I'll, literally, I'm scrolling through the chat. Um, and I know he asked, will there be a web app, phone app, and so on? Uh, short answer, yes. Long answer, don't know when, but it will be there. My plan is to have it all web-based. Um, if you think about it, the API, will be there for, for third parties to use. So if there aren't any developers out there that want to grab their hands on it, um, uh, well, will it send notice to all players? Nah, no one do that. Imagine how many people that might ping eventually. Um, but yeah, uh, what was that? Let me just quickly go through a little bit more. Uh, oh, that's the link to that. Sorry, I'm just finishing up now. So, guys, it's been over an hour, uh, longer than that actually, hour and a half. Um, I truly appreciate um, I truly appreciate everyone that you know constantly flies with us um, enjoys our weird banter that we've got on our discord um, I truly appreciate everyone that's you know I'll go say one thing before we go actually uh, Godland is farmer uh, he is a number one user with us literally number one he was the first one ever to create an account on Airtool um, funny enough before me <laughs> so he's genuinely the number one user he's been with us since day one i am absolutely um amazed by that uh we've got people that have been with us from day one again at the beginning of the stream you heard uh, you know uh, british have geek has been with us since day one he made a video about us do check out his channel check out serbian's channel uh, which I'll post the links in a minute uh, in the stream chat so you guys can check out their accounts uh, Accounts, uh, no, I didn't mean it like that um, uh, Right, let me just uh, bring all these people up. So for example, if you want to check out their YouTube channels and that's Serbian right there. I forgot to uh, name who's who Honestly, I really appreciate your work. I appreciate everyone's um, patience with us Um, you know, developing these is not easy. Uh, we do, it does take time, um, especially with us working full time. If you guys haven't liked the video, please do give us thumbs up, subscribe, and join the Discord channel, um, discord.lukeertl.net. Uh, I know it says Lukeertl, but we are separating them. There'll be two different new, uh, Discord channels, Fly Lats with its own, and Airtel with its own. Once again, thank you all for joining in, um, and honestly, I cannot wait to get this up and running for you guys, just obviously give me a sec, I'm just literally sending uh, people's uh, streams, yeah, there you go, uh, give them give them a like, give, because you know they've been supporting us since day one, uh, so yeah, uh, thank you so much everyone, and I shall see you very soon. All right, I hope. There you go. Now all three are sent. <laughs> yeah, fastest account create in the West, faster than the devs. I'm mean, true. Um, right. So, oh, uh, Hammerhead. Sorry, I didn't see if you joined previously on the chat, but yeah, thank you so much. You have Hammerhead. Thank you, uh, Farmer. Thank you, Krona. Thank you, Renty. Serbian. Uh, Simav Geek, uh, Lemon, Michael. So I'm just going to read them really quickly because uh, I need to get through everyone. Smash those hearts as fast as you can. Uh, Benjamin, thank you for joining. Uh, who else was it? Vercha, thank you. Mohammed, thank you. Uh, BXMIA, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, so I'm just going to spell it out. Lukas Kotua, thank you. Pavel, thank you. Uh, who else was here? I think I said Serbian as well. Eric20127, thank you so much for joining. Uh, honestly, Airborne. Oh my god, there's quite a lot of you. Uh, Darren, uh, Christopher. Oh my god. Uh, if I don't read somewhere, I do apologize. Leo Leo12321. 
Mm, Christopher already said oh, I've lost track who zero I know I didn't say bye to you so yeah thank you for tuning in as well keep smashing those like buttons keep smashing the subscription buttons because we are going to be posting short clips of what we're doing and now our oh, Raphael from Brazil thank you for joining and I think there was someone from France 852 as well <sighs> Ross <laughs> Okay, let's do... This was, this, this was a choice, Luke. I don't, this, was, this was a choice. I'm definitely not going to go because I'm going to be here forever. But honestly, appreciate everyone for joining us. Simke, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, honestly, My guys, pleasure. we're going to be doing more and more Discord chats. And now all the... We've spilled the beans about what we add in. So now we can freely talk about everything. Subscribe, like, and join us on Discord. Thank you so much. And I shall see you guys very soon on Discord. Oh, before I go, one more thing. Do jump into our Discord channel. Um... Inside that Discord channel, you'll be able to uh, get, talk to us now. I'm going to be on it now. You'll be able to have a conversation. Feel free to ask any more in-depth questions, and we'll be able to answer it. Uh, right, so let me finish this before I'll, come up, I'll think of something else. Um, all I'm going to say is thank you, and I should see you soon in uh, Fly Lat. See you later.